Alright, today we come here returning with the tournament of anime trying to find out the greatest anime of all time in a team up edition. As y'all know we are coming here with Baki, Flash, Evo and the rest of the martial arts teams going against 7 deadly sins and fairy tale. This is the magic squad. As y'all know, this is going to be something crazy. Whoever team y'all rooting for, let me know down below. And if y'all want any of these characters, make sure to join the Discord down below. This is ISO Gang, and as y'all know, the tournaments have been going insane. But let's get into this battle. All right, all right, all right. The first battle, we got the fighting team on the left side. Feel me, seven of the sins slash fairy tale on the right side. And it's going to be, you know, something to see. Very exciting, feel me. Something, you feel me. Like I said, we are coming here in the loser bracket, moving closer and closer and closer to the end of the team of tournament. And let me know out of all these teams, who have y'all been rooting for throughout the entire thing, man? Like, we've been seeing teams get swept off the map left and right. Some teams doing, you know, going crazy left and right. So I'm going to be honest with y'all. I don't even know, like, me personally, I, I don't know. You feel me? I, I kind of like the big three team just because, like, the name of it. But, um... We got to see, you know, who is the strongest out of all these teams, actually. You know, I feel like a lot of these teams are kind of getting scarier with some of the new updates that are coming. If y'all want to see updates, make sure to join the Discord down below. But certain t characters are coming to the tournament, and they're, you know, monstrous. You know, if you haven't seen, I, mean, I don't want to spoil too much, but we're getting new characters all across the board for many different animes, and that's making, you know, a lot of these teams more dangerous. Okay? Where's that nigga going? That nigga where you start running out the map. <laughs> Bro, don't want to fight no more. He's trying to take a break. Okay. Oh my god, I got that nigga Bond in the dark. <laughs> nigga Bond, Bond already got the tight ass clothes on. I don't know what you're doing with bro in the dark. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, here we go. We got Yujiro coming out here now. Got time for Yujiro to lock in. And okay, Yujiro doing some nice hits. I'm not gonna lie, Yujiro's been selling for a little while, so I feel like he just gotta lock in for his team, you know. But he can't keep selling. Yujiro is a monster of a character. We already know his bag used to be deep, so it's like we, we, we all started wondering what happened to Yujiro. The niggas just get outdated. We need a new Yujiro Hama, man. Somebody make a new Yujiro, man. <laughs> Please. The niggas just can't combos like he used to. I'm not gonna lie. Right now, he's putting a little bit of work in, though. Okay. And he's gonna have to lock in. Like I said, or this is gonna be the end of the, you know, the martial arts squad in this team up tournament. We gotta see what they can do. Okay, Yujiro popping mode. That demon back. Oh, yeah. And I always wonder why this nigga Yujiro turned into two people when he pops Demon back in Mugen. <laughs> I'm trying to find out this nigga no Shadow Clone Jutsu or something. Okay, nigga Bond don't care. He's beating up both Yujiro's. Oh my god, nigga, Mo I think he just killed one of the Yujiro's. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, and Yujiro's actually doing some good work right now. He's leading his team to some combos, but Bond is actually still the first person on this team, so it's like. Bro is doing more work than he needs to. You feel me? He's already locked in. I think he's finna get it ready. Yujiro here. Yeah, I think Yujiro's cooked. And there we go. Yujiro's cooked. Now it's up to Toriko and my boy Ryu. Ryu being very low as well. Imagine this nigga Bond hits a 3v1. Let me find out. Let me find out. This nigga Bond just went crazy in the uh D D the Deuteragonist tournament. Let me find out. He he's gonna go crazy in, in the regular tournament of team up. What? We just seen Tanjiro go crazy yesterday. Is he gonna do the same thing? What's up with all these new niggas starting to pop off? <laughs> What's up with all these new niggas popping off, man? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Toriko is like, bro, he's not trying to go out like the rest of these niggas. I see what Tanjiro did. I don't want to go out like that, but I'm not going to lie. Bon is low-key, like, forcing him to go out like that. Oh, my God, bro. He's This nigga Bon is a different type of devious let me find out seven of the sins of fairy tale team actually have a real shot because these niggas is locked in they're actually cooking they're in the kitchen chefing up i don't know who's who they're cooking for but somebody's getting a splendid meal <laughs> yo toriko's actually putting in work back too though these niggas are actually going back and forth i'm enjoying this fight nigga toriko's pulling out mad meals he said i gotta eat <laughs> he said i have to eat or i'm not gonna win this battle niggas trying to cheat he said you can heal i'm healing too Okay, why is the nigga usual on the ground sitting like that though? Bro look like he ready for something to go down. <laughs> Bro's ready for Bond. He said I'm ready for you for the hunt. <laughs> he said I'm ready for the hunt. Oh yeah, there we go. Yo, these niggas are having a legendary battle right now. Do we do they have some type of unknown beef we don't know about? What's going on? Don't Bond be cooking? Can't Bond cook? Maybe that's the problem. Toriko be eating food, Bond be cooking. Nigga ain't paid for his last meal. So they just start throwing hands, they start scrapping. Oh, yeah, this nigga Bond's literally finna run a 3v1, bro. 
<laughs> he's literally running a 3v1, bro. Even though he had, obviously, some help as assists. Yeah, Bond gets definitely, he definitely gets credit for that match. All right, the first match is over. Let's get into Baki, my boy Ipo, and that boy Jin Mori. Feel me? Let me? Let's see. I'm not gonna lie. This is one of the scarier teams for the fighting squad in terms of who's on it. Because we know Baki is a shredding demon. He will shred your health. Some of the most highest damage in the tournament. He's a scary nigga to go against. I wouldn't want to throw hands with Baki anyways, whether it's a tournament or not. The nigga Baki throws crazy hands, and we already know that, bro. So, like, he's, he's one of those niggas you don't want to combo with. Okay. Baki missing his punches by like just a short margin. Okay. Where is this nigga Baki? What is what is he doing? Oh, he just wanted him to come closer. He said, "You come closer, I'm gonna start punishing you." Okay. And yo, Baki's low key getting shredded. There we go. Yup. Okay. There we go. Baki starting to lock in a little bit. Actually, am I wrong? Let me see something. Urza coming in for a second. Oh, yeah, and the fighting team is going, is, is not, they're not doing too well. Baki's probably one of the scariest characters on this team, so he has to lock in, other than Jim Moore. Jim Moore is dangerous, too. Oh, yeah. There goes Loxus. Oh, he's getting cooked. Oh, yeah, this thing's getting cooked. Okay. And there we go. Loxus trying to get right right here. Jim Moore coming out. Okay, and Jim Moore on the right side beating down Urza. Epo on the right side beating down Loxus. Hey, you're talking about bad right now. Yo, Epo is just dodging. He's weaving and dodging and weaving. Okay. There we go. Lox has got his ass. Oh, yeah, and that's damage. That's damage. All them head slips ain't saving Epo. Okay. Here we go, Epo. Jin Mori, original. Yo, he, they got the whole team right here. Lox is trying to get right, though. I ain't gonna lie. He's the first person out. He's actually trying to put in some pain. There we go. Baki coming out. Baki gonna put damage on you. Okay. Baki taking some real damage right here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Didn't even peep it, but when Baki came back in, he had full health, so I decided to just completely get rid of him, get rid of Loxus, and take this into a 2v2 because, um... You feel me? I, I just feel like that was the fair option to do. You know, Loxus is already about to be dead. Baki was close to death, and he switched out. And... For some reason, this nigga Baki, man, he just, he's, he's, he, he, obviously a nigga tweaked out. So now it's up to Epo, it's up to King, Jin Mori, and Urza. Okay. Oh, yeah. And King is putting in heavy damage right now. Okay. And, oh my god, the nice little, you know, Jin Mori special attack. He's doing some really, some nice damage to help out Epo. And this is a bad matchup for Epo, you know, it's a bad matchup for any character on the fighting team. Because King is going to range everybody. He's going to range Jin Mori. He's going to range everybody. He's, he doesn't get close to you very often. So you have to get close to him. Evo's good at pushing up, though. You know, even in his anime, he's nice at getting close to the opponent. But um, he don't be fighting niggas with magical powers. <laughs> That's one thing. Nigga, Evo's never fought a nigga like King before. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. And right now, like I said, Evo's just going to struggle trying to get close. Okay, cut him up a little bit. And I ain't gonna lie, he's gonna need that boy Jim Mori's help. There we go, Epo. Wait a minute, Epo. Let me not speak too early. Okay. That boy Epo got a little bit of combos under his belt. And here we go, we got Epo transforming. Oh yeah. Here we go, Epo going into that mode. He said this is that time. Oh my God, what boxing gym? Let me see something. Let me see some Epo. Let me see some Epo. <laughs> He's comboing up. He's throwing hands. Left, right, left, right. Nigga look like Yuji. Yuji. Yuji Itadori. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We got King locking in two mode. Doesn't matter, though. Epo's already too close in your range. Once Epo's this close, he's not backing up no more. Oh, yeah. Epo is actually putting in some pain. Oh, yeah. Nice little counter by Epo. Oh, yeah. And Epo is close and personal right now. He's not letting King do what he wants to do. And King is out for the count. Yo, let me find out. Wait a minute, Epo. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me find out Epo got his, his bag is getting elite. Let me find out Epo got the elite bag. Niggas never knew about that Epo bag. Niggas don't know about that Epo bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All he needed was some, some screen time. Oh, he let Jim Mori get right. He said, Jim Mori, have my, have, get my follow-up. 
And Jimori came in, he's comboing, getting right. The music is lit, hyping these niggas up. Oh yeah, there we go, music just ended. Damn, I was finna see, I was getting hyped up. I felt like I was the MC. Oh yeah, there we go, Urza. And can Urza bring this whole match back? That would be insane. Oh yeah, here we go, Jinmori with his crown. The Monkey King. Okay. And even in his Monkey King state, he's definitely having a little bit of problems with Urza, one of the strongest of the entire Fairy Tail squad. He's a monster. Oh, she is the strongest Fairy Tail character other than Natsu at the moment. She is scary. And as we're seeing why, she's putting in pain on Jin Mori, somebody who is not, you know, easily beaten. Oh, there we go. Jin Mori locking in as well, though. He said, You're not going to be the only one locking this fight. Okay. Oh, yeah. Jin Mori original kicks. Here they come. Yup. Okay. Urza putting some work in. And she still has to worry about Ipo, though. So she has to beat him, not flawlessly, because it's already too late for that. Yup. Counter. And there we go. Making it. 1-1. One, one. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Escanor, Natsu, and um, what's the name of this girl, bro? I've been forgetting, bro. Uh, I always forget, man. But as y'all know, Kenshiro, Shun Li, and Akuma, a new Akuma, all here together, taking on uh, the super, the, the, the magic based team. So this ain't gonna be easy for obviously the magic team. They're going against some strong members. They're going against Kenshiro, who is a dangerous person to go against. Even though Escanor is a monster, this ain't gonna be easy fight for him at all. And I can tell y'all that. Okay, but they do got Natsu on the other hand, another new character, feel me? Okay. Escanor starting off the match how you want to start. Here we go, the fighting team starting to get back a couple punches. Oh yeah, and that's a nice assist. Oh yeah, if they, if they get off Escanor, you know, if they can get Escanor gone early, then the fighting team can really have a chance here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this damage is something there. They got something there. Okay, got his ass, grabbed him. Oh yeah, Neskinor's getting hit right now. He's taking a little bit of damage. Damage you don't want to take. Cracked his neck. <laughs> Niggas give him that free back massage. No diddy. Oh yeah. Here we go, Escanor. The sin of pride. My name is Lion Sin Escanor. Let me hear some Escanor. Let me hear some. Okay. Escanor putting in some work right now. Him and Kenshiro are having a nice little match, obviously, to start off this battle. Whoever wins this is going to go up 2-1, and this is the nice advantage you want, feel me? So whoever wins this, like I said, is going to be a big advantage for your team. Okay. Above the pinnacle of all races. Yep. I hear you, Escanor. Don't worry. We hear you. Got his ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Not to get knocked back right here. Puma coming in to help out Natsu. Or no, not to go, not help out Natsu, but go against Natsu. And Natsu being one of the stronger people on this team, him and Derriere, you know, he's the strongest of the Fairy Tail squad. He, we're already seeing why. He's putting damage on Kenshiro, he's putting damage on Chun Li. They're going to have to jump him. And Kenshiro having a lot, a lot of nice attacks off the rip with these little back cracks. He's, he's low key putting in some work. Okay. And this is not to a 100-year quest. Y'all know this boy is way stronger than any time, you know, he used to be. So we got to see what he can do as, like, in his bag. Okay, Kenshiro popping mode. Natsu popping mode. Knocking that boy Kenshiro back. He said, I don't care about none of that. Oh, yeah, Kenshiro locking it as well, though. And Kenshiro got a nice bag. Do not sleep on his bag. Y'all finna see. Okay. And he's countering Natsu. This might not be Natsu's matchup. Okay, Natsu's still doing well as well, though. And these niggas are going back and forth. Oh, my God. The, the double barrage. Oh, that was tough. That was super tough. Oh, what is this? Oh, Kenshiro could have got that off. That would have been so tough. Okay. Nice little fire flip. Oh, yeah. Two switches. Now we got Akuma and Derriere, the two strongest of both teams going against each other. And... Akuma, like I said, he's a new character. I mean, he's one of the newer, stronger people of this fighting team. We got to see what he can do for his, you know, his team. Okay. Chun Li switching in for Akuma. Derriere kicking Chun Li back quick. She said, "I'm, I'm not worried about none of that." She said, "I'm really not, honestly." Okay. Both charge it up. Oh yeah, Chun Li with some nice damage right there. Derriere with ultimate attack. Got us. Yep. Derriere going full demon mode. They, they should give her that as like a form. I feel like that as a form would be bad, cool, and Mugen. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chun Li's comboing up. That ultimate attack definitely did a number on her, but. Oh, yeah. And it's noon. He ever took man long to get to noon. Okay. I don't even know where the Snake Escanor is. I just hear him talking in my ear. Let me find out Snake Escanor in the background raging. Okay. Oh, Kentro is out for the count. Chun Li's kind of getting low. I'm not gonna lie, this team is they gotta pick up the pace a little bit. Because Natsu ain't too low. Derriere, oh no, I guess everybody on this, both teams are kind of low except for uh Akuma. And I'm not gonna lie, she might have just died with this. This might kill her. Okay. Ultimate attack, knocking her back. Oh yeah, here we go. Chun Li actually alive still. Oh, she's not alive. Okay, Chun Li dead. And if she ain't dead, she's probably gonna die from this. Because it shows she has health, but I'm pretty sure it's glitched. Yeah, it's just up to Akuma now, the final man of the fighting team. Can he get the job done alone? Oh my god, he's getting drowned right now by Derriere. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. And this is his debut, obviously. He's the strongest of the fighting team. You know, obviously, it'll be a great debut if he can take this one home. <laughs> it'll be a great debut if this nigga can win the match. That's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Championship ring. Oh, yeah, they're comboing him up, though. Natsu ain't gonna make it no easier for you. And you still gotta deal with the one Escanor and Derriere. I ain't gonna lie, it's a hard matchup game. But they are all a little bit low. Here we go, guys. Gonna pop and load. Okay. Okay. Natsu pop and mode here. Oh, yeah, he's comboing up. Oh, yeah, the Dragon Roar. And I'm not gonna lie, Natsu and Akuma are both new. Like I said, they're both going at each other's necks right now. Get the Dragon Roar doing damage. Double Dragon Roar. Oh my god. Natsu, please. He's cooking. Okay. So is Akuma, though. And this match really could still go either way, just depending on how much Akuma can do. Akuma almost beating Natsu. I think Natsu's done. Yep, Natsu's done. Now it's just Derriere and Escanor. Okay, this nigga, this nigga, Akuma's grabbing his chest. He's tweaking out. What's been happening? Oh, yeah. Oh, he's popping a mode. Oh, he's popping mode. Long-ass mode cutscene. Oh, yeah, and Akuma going into something that looks kind of crazy. He got blue skin. I don't know what this is, but I know if y'all watch, uh, if y'all know Street Fighter, then y'all know, probably know what this is. Oh, yeah, and Eskinor's getting drowned. Oh, yeah, he's drowning the team. He said that was nowhere near enough for me. All right, all right, all right. Let's get into it. What could be the final battle here if they're not able to get the job done? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Off the rip, the Magic team coming strong. You know, if they lose here, they lose the entire team and they're out. Okay, my, my boy Toriko coming strong too. It's up to Toriko, Jin Mori, and Akuma. He the strongest of those three teams going against the Magic team. Meliodas, Urza, and Derriere. The strongest of their three teams. Okay, and they, both the teams coming off with some real strong attacks, some nice moves to start it out. I can tell neither one of these teams want to lose. You, you literally can tell by how they're, they're coming out the gate. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and the combos are there. Nice little bits of damage. Oh, yeah, and Toriko's going to get hurt there. And like I said, both these teams are literally going back and forth. Literally. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Toriko eating a little bit of meat. No diddy. <laughs> Niggas always got to say that. No diddy. Because I know how y'all get in the comment section. What? Meat? <laughs> That's the first thing y'all got to say. Who's eating meat? <laughs> oh, Lysol meat? What? I already know how y'all be getting, man. Y'all ain't getting me today. Okay. 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 Oh, yeah.
Oh yeah, that's good damage. And here we go, we got this boy transforming. Now it's finna get serious. Oh yeah. Yup. Toriko. Yo, I'm not gonna lie. Toriko and Melios gave us a hell of a battle. I'm not gonna lie. They were both fighting for their teams heavily. And like I said, I think both of them are finna be off the count here. But um I don't mind seeing either team get right. Okay. Toriko comboing up. Nice little bits of damage. He has to do as much as he can before he goes down because if he can, then you feel me? They, they could have a real chance of winning this. Oh my god, and Toriko is, like I said, doing a lot more than you would expect him to do. Urza putting in some work too though. You better eat some of that meat, J J <laughs> Toriko. Nigga better put some of that meat in his mouth. Okay. Nigga better get some of that meat. <laughs> Where the meat at? <laughs> I'll give him some meat. Nah, nah, nah let, me chill out. let me chill out. Okay. Urza getting it right right now, my boy Akuma. Not looking good for him. Jim Mori coming to save the day with a nice little, you know, kick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Her And her and Akuma are going at it right now. They're literally going back and forth. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Akuma. Oh, my God. With a nice little energy attack. And Urza's having a real hard time right now. Oh, yeah. And Urza, there we go, starting to bring it back a little bit. And she's doing a lot of damage to the strongest character on the team. So it's like, you know, if she can get this kill off, then Derriere could probably cruise through pretty easily. Oh, yeah, Derriere coming out now. Oh, yeah. And them hits hurt. And them hits hurt. There we go. And I'm pretty sure they're going to force this boy to go into mode. Yep. Not the mode that we've seen with the blue skin, but this one. Another one of his strong ass modes. Akuma's one of them sleeper characters. He's definitely up there with some of the strongest people, but we don't know where he lands. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my god. That was tough as hell. This nigga just blew the ground up. Oh yeah, Jim Mori to finish it off with Akuma. I'm not gonna lie, it's not looking good for Urza. I think she's the last one left. Yup, and they couldn't even get Sariko down. Did Jim Mori even fight? Oh no, the fighting team is looking crazy.